You know what this means? I'm gonna cook today. So we don't have enough ingredients for this recipe, so I'm gonna try asking for my landlord. <laughs> guys, guys, the mailman just came. You. Yes. No. No. Come on. Oh, not mine. You there's an insect. Ha! Got this, got it, got it, got it. Just finished lunch. It's not bad, but it was not what I intended to do. So I tried to make, I tried to make spicy pork, and it is not so spicy right now. N not even a little bit spicy actually. So it's not spicy. It's not much tasteful. You know, I didn't. I don't even. I don't even get much taste. So even though it's. I eat it because that's what I cooked. I made it, so I eat it. So this this is not so tasteful. And the appearance, this is not what I expected when I was doing that. Because when I was in Myanmar with my mentor, my aunt, it was totally different. So this is not what I was expecting. The appearance is different. And also the smell, the scent is totally different. So, even though I can eat this, this is definitely not what I expected. It's a failure. So last year when I first came to Australia, I didn't know cooking at all. I didn't know even how to fry rice. But before I came, my family, my aunt, and my uncle and every single adult would tell me to learn cooking and I didn't listen to them because I thought I wouldn't need to cook because I can just eat out I can just go to KFC or McDonald's 
or just somewhere else to eat out because I love burgers. But after some time, like during the first semester, when June, so last year when I got to Australia, I, I, after some time, I just got kind of fed up with eating burgers all the time. And honestly, the cost increased. You know, so I was spending lots of money on fast food that year and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to save more money. So I decided to learn cooking from the landlord. So the landlord taught me how to fry rice and I just I just ate fried rice, fried eggs and a little bit of some alternatives, like just a little bit changing and I ate that for the whole semester. So after that semester, I went back to Myanmar, my home country, and I started to learn cooking. Because I knew that time that I needed to learn cooking, or otherwise, I'm just going to have to have fried rice the whole year again. I went to my aunt and uncle, and also my mom to teach me cooking. And they taught me like quick and easy lessons on how to cook like some meals like, um, sweet pork, spicy pork. I love pork, so they taught me how to cook pork. And you know, a little bit of how to cook fried rice, better fried rice than I was cooking, and just basic stuff. So I learned that, but still I was pretty lazy. So I didn't learn much, but I still tried to learn, and I made notes on my book, that book that I showed you guys, right? That cooking book, I made lots of notes there and I didn't practice much. So they taught me once, and then it's over. I, go, I went on to another lesson. I didn't practice much. I didn't even practice at all. I practiced only some, only a few meals, like two or three meals. And you know, those were the meals that, those are actually the meals that I can actually cook for now. But other meals, even though I know the ingredients, I don't know what I'm expecting. But now cooking has become my new hobby, which I never expected. So I cook nowadays and I'm trying to get more experience by that. And I learned my lessons, honestly. I'm going to cook more in the future. Now it's around 3 p.m. And around like 5 p.m. I've got two things to do. Either I go shopping with my flatmate, which I need to because I don't have anything else to eat anymore. I don't have snacks, I don't have any milk, I don't have any out of food as well. So I gotta go shopping. Or I can go hang out with my friends at Macquarie University and study together with them. They have invited me to study together with them. I'll think about that later. So right now, I gotta study. Let's go shopping, guys. I forgot my credit card. So my flatmate paid for all of that. I have to pay her back when I back, get back home. I'm home and here are the things and I've decided that I'm not going to my friend's invitation anymore. I have to study. So yeah, see you in the next vlog.